I'm Chef Cal, and today I'm going to make keto chocolate chip cookies using a recipe that I haven't used before. This one is supposed to be pretty simple. I need one and a half cups of almond flour, which is 164 grams. Next, I'm going to add in a half a cup of butter. Good thing about this recipe is you add in all of the ingredients. Next is a half a cup of sweetener. I'm using a xylitol today. Next is a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And next is a tablespoon of gelatin, two eggs, and two teaspoons of vanilla. And I'm just going to take this and mix everything. So I have my KitchenAid here with the paddle attachment. And the recipe says I should mix till it's thoroughly mixed. To this, I'm going to add a half a cup of chocolate chips sugar-free. And the recipe says that this doesn't spread very much. It's supposed to make 12 cookies. I'm going to use my two tablespoon cookie scoop. I have this pan prepared with a piece of parchment. My oven has preheated to 375. So I'm going to bake these for between 14 and 19 minutes, and I'll meet you back here. I just took the cookies out of the oven. I waited until the edges brown, and because I'm using almond flour, I actually have to wait until these cool completely before I can taste them. Almond flour is a little different than regular flour in that it is a little more delicate. So in order for the cookies to continue to hold their shape, I have to let them cool completely. Meet you back here again. The chocolate chip cookies have cooked and cooled, and they are now ready to be sampled. And I think the perfect accompaniment to these cookies is a cup of my favorite lemon tea. So let me start by the cookie itself is very soft. It has a cake-like crumb. It feels very delicate. So it's a very soft cake-like cookie. Perfect for an afternoon tea. It's sweet. I have used dark chocolate sugar-free nubs and they are perfect together. If you like a soft chocolate chip cookie, this will be perfect for you. If you're not a baker, this is perfect for you because Everything goes in the bowl, scoop it out, bake it. One good thing was the cookies did not spread very much, so they never touched each other. So try it, let me know what you think, and bon appetit.